When using the three tenses, past, present, and future, it's necessary to frame them within one of four moods to add grammatical context. The simple mood, per the perfect mood, the progressive mood, also known as the continuous mood, and the perfect progressive mood. And while simple is the most common mood, the perfect mood is also very common. However, it often gets confused with simple and other contexts. Therefore, it's important to describe how to use this mood and explain the rules surrounding it. Before we begin, it's important to note that each of the perfect tenses describes an event as it relates to a second event. And this applies with respect to the past, present, and future tense. Let's begin with the past perfect. This describes a past event that took place before another past event. What to look for? The word had paired with a past tense verb. Let's see how this is illustrated on a timeline. We have the past, present, and future. For past perfect, we have our past event that we're referring to, and that occurred in the past, obviously, and it occurred before another event that was also in the past. Keep in mind here, the secondary event is critical for the past perfect. If you only have a single event that you're talking about, then you'll use the simple past. But if you have a past event that occurred before another past event, then you will use the past perfect. No Canadian team had won an NBA title before 2019. Here we have the word had paired with a past tense verb. And we have the time frame in which it's placed before 2019. In our timeline, it'll look something like this. No Canadian team, sorry, Chris Bosch, had won an NBA title before 2019. Thanks, Kyle Lowry. We appreciate that. Now, let's look at the present perfect. This describes an action that began or took place in the past and has continued until the present or impacts the present. What to look for? The word has or the word have paired with a past tense verb. On the timeline, it'll look something like this. Something that began in the past and has continued to the present. In addition to referring to an event that began in the past and continues to the present, the present perfect also is used to refer to an event that happened in the past and has an impact on the present. Let's take a look at how both of these function in practice. I have cheered for the Raptors since their first season. Now here we have the word have paired with a simple past tense verb. And again, we put context into this since this time in the past, their first season. Now, this is an example of an instance where the present perfect continues from the past to the present. Our timeline here, we have the past, when the Raptors came into being, 1995, and since that time, I have been cheering for the Raptors. Let's take a look at an example where a past event impacts the present. Here we have the Raptors have won an NBA championship. We have the word have paired with the past tense verb won. And in this context, the past event has an impact on the team's status currently. Let's see how this plays out on our timeline. In the past, the Raptors have won an NBA championship, 2019, and that explains why they currently have an NBA championship banner in their stadium. Let's take a look at Future Perfect. This describes a future event that will occur before another future event. Now, what to look for here? We're going to look for the word will and have paired with the past tense verb. Let's see how this is represented visually on our timeline. We have the past, present, and future. And here we have our future event, which is the event we're referring to, illustrated in red. And it occurs before another future event, illustrated in yellow. Let's take a look at an example. Hopefully, you will have learned something by the end of this presentation. We have the word will indicating that this is a future tense scenario. And then we have the word have paired with a past tense verb learned. And this indicates that it is a perfect mood. So we have the future perfect mood here. 
let's take a look at how this is represented on our visual timeline. We got the past, present, and future. We have the future event, you learning something, before another future event, which is the end of this presentation. Let's do a quick summary of the perfect mood. In the past, it describes a past event that took place before another past event. What are we going to look for? The word had paired with a past tense verb. Example, no Canadian team had won the NBA championship before 2019. In the present, it describes an action that began or took place in the past and has continued until or impacts the present. What are we going to look for? The word has or have paired with a past tense verb. Example, the Toronto Raptors have won an NBA title. And the future perfect describes an event that will occur before another future event. What are we going to look for? The word will and have paired with a past tense verb. Example, hopefully you will have learned something by the end of this session. That's all the foundational information you need to get started writing tenses in the perfect mood. If you have questions about simple, progressive, or perfect progressive moods, or conditional and modal tenses, check out our other videos. If you have any other questions relating to the perfect mood, drop them in the comments section below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Until next time, take care of yourselves and each other.